gets popped nicely done will miracle be able to pick him up or will the man chase him down and he's going to go down one way or the other he's going to try to get to the shrine does he even waste it no he will die in what looked like a terrible fight for liquid gears they do scout this out though it is nighttime can secret make a play here without the Illuminate heal. This is where Luna can be strongest, but Miracle is hammering this Roche down quickly. MP moves in, he wants to force out the BKB. Poppy Charge going for the steal. Who's going to get the Aegis? The Roche, but Miracle snatches the Aegis away. Puppy's down. Secret Art shambles now. Miracle chasing forward, three of Fallen. That's a double die back, too. That just might be the late of Rax. Yams are falling. Whoa. Secret crumbling. Liquid. They've got the power play now. They still have that extra life. They can surge down mid. observe what outside the range of it Kezu time walks forward they want mind control in the trees and well chronosphere will be able to do that nether blood set in case liquid one try and fight and well oh no the pull out he didn't even take him the entire way they're still in position I'm to fight they didn't global that i really thought they were going to global that kill observe one two they have good vision here from yamsaw and bar strike in there goes your global silence gh the call down is on the way gh slowed down but he still has the distance to go to fight with the anchor slam from my control right on the money miracle will come in for the cleave damage as well epicenter from yamsaw picks up the back lines and my control does die gh on insanely low life the tenders in heals up and has balls of yeah possibly the fear just to keep the split push up to kind of match the naga but i don't think it's the best best option for sure matu gets the sleep off he gets and three heroes that's what the miracle he wants to get there he's got a beautiful red corner on top of three the timing's perfect and they get blasted down low oh no that's that's three dead oh you're the tp center i mean miracle says we'll take the fourth if you want to offer half 
minutes. You gotta oh, play this oh, five on four, man. Again. You gotta he's do it. He's done it again. The spy carapace done. GH has to BKB up. Refresh roll. He just wants to TP out, but the damage is too much. But back up to the top. Back to the rest. But top of it. There's no fortification this time around. Megazara achieved. But top of it under the cup. He BT'd on two. The creep though is getting killed off by the blood right. Now it's just a Makura but top of it. They jump forward. They're looking for Bloodseeker. They want the kill, but now. Of GH. They're gonna pop that stampede, try and get away with Yi, but he can't make it. But now Miracle's heavily committed, it's rooted down to the spot, they got and it. they will kill him. Somehow they've managed to potentially win this fight. Is now they're gonna be able to catch Kuro as well. But Tubba Man, he's not gonna be able to make it out of here either. Gets stomped up bit by bit. Keen Gaming are gonna be able to bring down the big boys of Liquid at least one time here. Matumba Man, knowing that he can't really escape, just tries to do some damage to Jakiro as best he can. Ziyi is also chasing an extra one here, GH. Matumba Man is still staying alive because of all that magic lifesteal. He's alive still. He can't actually run away, but he's he won won four in fight. Now he is going to come back in. And with his extra damage, that should be enough unless the Echo Slam comes down and lays out and Centaur is actually dead. Oh my god, he's gonna live! Well, he's gonna live! He's still alive! He's still alive! My control is gonna lay in some helping hand here with Kaka. Yule Scepter up, now the Spectre is back up to full HP. Old Chicken goes for Matumba Man once again, but again, he's broken inside of that Nether Toxie. He's not doing any damage to Matumba Man, he's dead! He has a buyback, yes, but Matumba Man... He doesn't stop, he just lays off nether toxin after nether toxin blitz. This lane of racks, but they still do not have Anna. What a Fisher. Four man Fisher setting things up. They're getting a lot of damage on a girl right now. There goes that borrowed time. But the melee racks is being focused by Liquid quite a bit here. They're gonna turn onto the troll as best as possible. What a oh my god! OG! They just get wiped out here. A great Fisher Echo Slam that's gonna be able to set down some things up, but a huge sustain for Team Liquid allows them to remain healthy here. They're gonna pop the shape shift and try and go back. They're trying to get into this as best possible. They do have the wall going out. Looks like the troll is gonna be dying here as he just bought back and now he's dead for 70 seconds. And uh, trying to set things up as a Nyx assassin right now is gonna try and get away with the waveform as best as possible up in two seconds time. But he's pulled back in by the vacuum. Spirit Vessel shot as well. Now he's gonna be going here. Immediately, the boat's gonna be able to finish him off. Oh, not quite enough damage. Tries to get away, but the dagger will be able to finish him now. Paparazzi lost a lot of his damage here. The double damage is still kicking him in, so he hits okay. And he's gonna try and finish him off. And anyway, the primal roll, not gonna happen. He just ends up going down to the RP. He'll send no lucky down three. That was so good. Team Liquid, what a big turn around by them. All at the back of GH. Yang, he's gonna sprout, try and go for the teleport out, while Paparazzi's still okay to be able to fight. Yang is stuck. His teleport's not available, but they're gonna try and go for my control here, but they're being now back in GH with a beautiful Fisher into the Enchant Totem. They stay on top of Paparazzi, 
up on top of mid. Wants to be able to get the blink target. Target. He's been so far away, but he does have the blink target to get out. And Liquid. This is the frustration of playing against Templar Assassin is that she keeps all those lanes pushed in with really zero risk to her own life. The trap's just clearing waves. And they've got it, Roshan, Aegis, Cheese, Refresher Shard, it's all going the way of Liquid, X Nova, they found him, they got him back, they've got him back into the damage required, Miracle Pro to be giving them a good result, Miracle Dead, they've got him on point, they burn out the Aegis, can they do it again, they're backing off, Chalice with the BKB on the retreat, a dagger thrown out from Arme, just throw the trial like that, Chalice, he's giving it up, oh my, the three man RP, the light strike away, with the thank you, the roll, the greens, they've got the heels, they've got the sustain, Liquid turn it around,
stage yet. And Fly is going to walk into the smoke. She immediately reacts straight over the bleed. Then pop in the epicenter of the static. So there's a lot of hate there for Fly. It's understandable. He's a scary guy. And that's too much committed for the Scarab Mage. And Arme to sanking on sanking action as he goes over the Boros Strike onto GH. Not quite enough damage to burst him down. And GH, in fact, he's able to bring down a setup for a kill with the Sun Strike as the burst comes through. They will get exploded, but he gets on this. Two man shackle shot. Controls there. It will get cancelled straight away as Arme comes forward.